They say the greatest thing you'll ever learn is to love and be loved in return. One thing I really admire about Marissa is how she isn't afraid to be exactly who she is. She has a heart that is pure, and by some twist of fate five years ago, I was lucky enough to call her a best friend. Marissa, you have always been my constant reminder. It's not what you have, but who you have. I'll never forget the first time Marissa told me about this new guy. He was her long-term high school boyfriend who went to date. Her face literally glowed when she talked about him. I could tell that they were very serious because here we are today celebrating two of the best people I know. The two of them complement each other so well. And it is with great honor that I raise my glass to you and Nick. I love you both so much. Words can't describe how lucky I am to be marrying you today. You are my best friend and love of my life. It's crazy to think that we've been in each other's lives for 11 years now. Throughout these years, I've gotten to discover everything about you that I love. I love your contagious smile that always brightens my day. I admire your constant dedication to your friends and family. I love your sense of humor and how easily you make me laugh and smile. love of my life, my high school sweetheart, and most importantly, my best friend. It's hard to believe we met 11 years ago as camp counselors. I will never forget the moment I saw you. I was instantly captivated by your smile. In no time at all, you easily became one of my best friends. I fell in love with your easygoing nature, your intelligence, your sense of humor, your kind soul, your patience with me, and honestly, every single thing about you. You two have been there for each other since the start. Through thick and thin, different colleges, different careers, you've always come back to each other. Casey and I love you more than I can tell you. And look at all the people here that are celebrating you tonight. Thank you so much for showing us what love is. We love you so much, and we look forward to what you both do in the future. So let's all raise a glass to Nick and Marissa on tonight, during COVID, against all the odds. Here's to you guys. father and a daughter have a special bond. He wants to protect her and do everything he can for her well-being. There is a love that I never knew existed until that day she came into this world. There is that unquestioned willingness to do anything in my power to see her happy. Even through the proud parent moments of getting her license and her first job, proms, graduating high school, graduating college, the one overriding trait I am most proud of is how she treats others. As a father, your hope is that whomever your little girl decides to be with, they will protect her and bring her joy. Nick, you have your hands full, son. I know you make her happy. I know you are patient, kind, and caring. She could not love you any more than she does, and in my heart, I know 
you both feel the same way. I vow to always lift you up and encourage you to be your best self. I promise to put you and your needs before my own. I promise to show my gratitude to you often and intentionally. I vow to listen to you with an open mind and an open heart, even when we don't agree on something. I promise to never go to bed angry or without telling you that I love you. I promise to laugh with you and show you your ridiculous memes and TikTok videos every single day. I vow to live life to the fullest with you to fulfill our hopes and dreams. And lastly, I promise to love you more and more each and every day, as I have for the last decade. Our wedding is something you and I have dreamed about for so long. Nothing was going to stop us, not even a global pandemic. As you know, I'm probably one of the most indecisive people on the face of the planet but when it comes to you, I've never been so sure of anything. I love you. So as we now take our relationship into the next stage of our lives, I vow to always be by your side through thick and thin. I vow to put my full faith and trust in you. I vow to compromise when we disagree. I vow to make you smile when you're sad. I vow to be your lobster. I vow to be the husband you can always trust and depend on. I vow to be your best friend, your knucklehead, and your goofball. I love you more than words can ever describe, and I vow to always love and cherish you.